welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and in this video newsletter what we're going to take a look at is a comment someone's left me on a video about measurement system analysis and getting reproducibility when you only have one measurement system. So it's all about, this is all about MSA and it's all about reproducibility okay so so the the question is is stating that number one they only have one piece of equipment but number two it's pass fail all right now reproducibility you have two problems that you get with measurement can you repeat it that means if I measure the same item twice I measure the diameter of this twice can I repeat the same measurement or at least get close and if I give the same part to a colleague can they reproduce it can they reproduce it and this gives you the, the phrase gauge R and R now this these phrases only relate to variable data in other words if I'm measuring the diameter of this, then that's measurable data. Then I can do a gauge R and R. If what I was doing was inspecting the print and just saying pass fail, this has no place in that type of MSA. Okay, so that's the first thing. So the first thing which is an answer to your question is, this is not valid. For pass fail okay that's the first thing now just before I, I move on to another part of this video um, th this is a genuine problem when people only have one piece of equipment so they've bought some fancy uh, electronic AI guided measuring system and they can only afford one of them so they go I only got one how do I do this well you don't do this there is no reproducibility when you've only got one measurement system the key point though by the way is if you use software the software will give you um, an option to use the X bar R method the usual method is ANOVA ANOVA cannot work if you're not going to reproduce it so the X bar R method will work out just this this component here for you this is the only technique that works when you have one measurement system and other one work when you have one measurement system so if you have variable data and you have this problem there's your solution use your software but go X bar R you won't get a uh, obviously a reproducibility component because you're not trying to reproduce the result so that's the real answer but of course because we're doing pass fail MSA what is the language of pass fail MSA? Well, it's effectiveness. So how effective is your measurement system? So of course, what you should be doing is you should be identifying usually 20 samples. They must be 50-50. 10 pass, 10 fail. You've assessed them by eye. So the human has decided these are definitely 10 passes, these are definitely 10 fails. And then what you do is you give that to your measurement system. So you give that to your measurement system and of course you see how many they get right. So if you give 20 to your measurement system and they get 15 correct out of 20, their effectiveness is 75%. We would like effectiveness to go above 80% usually. That would be an acceptable measurement system. But hey, you paid half a million pound for some super duper piece of kit. Maybe you'd want it to do better than 80%. That's probably the human value. So if you were inspecting cosmetics by eye, how good would we expect the human to be? Probably 80% we're doing well. Now you've got a piece of super duper equipment, maybe you want that to go higher. But that's how you do an MSA for pass-fail. 
Mm -hmm. the, this is really important, by the way, crucial that it's 10 and 10, 10 passes, 10 fails, that you definitely know their 10 passes, definitely know their 10 fails, you've inspected them, then give them to the measurement system, work out the effectiveness. It's like a little test. You get 15 out of 20, you've got a 75% score in your test. The software will give you other data as well. The probability that the system is too tight, that it's over, it's over failing. Uh, the probability that the system is too loose, it's over passing. So it gives you extra data as well. But just to answer the simple question, can I do re reproducibility? If you've only got one measurement system, no, but that only exists in this type of MSA anyway. You're doing this type. So I hope that answers your question and you can go away and find out if your measurement system's any good. Do me a favor, leave me a comment when you've done the MSA, tell me how good it is. Thank you very much.